Hi guys, in this video, we will be copying a file from a Linux EC2 server to S3 bucket. And uh, also we'll be seeing how we can do this from S3 to the Linux server. And also we'll be putting a schedule to this so that it will happen automatically. So I have launched a Linux EC2 instance and uh, I've also created a S3 bucket to test it the same. So let's connect to this instance. So we are in. So for first, uh, we need to check if it is able to talk to the S3 bucket. So for that, we will do AWS S3 LS. Okay, it is seeing access denied. It means that the instance is not having permissions to talk to the S3 bucket. So first, we will check the rule. Mostly, the rule solves the problem. As you can check, the rule doesn't have S3 permissions. We will add an S3 permission to it. So as this is our testing account, I will use S3 full access. As the rule is updated, we will again SSH into the instance. As you can check, we have an instance with us and the server is able to talk to the uh, S3. I mean, it is able to establish a connection. So let's go to the home directory and uh, list out the files. So let's create a temporary directory to test this thing. Get your S3. Change directory to S3. Okay. Now here we will create a file. The I test one dot txt and let's save it. Get out, we'll do escape colon wq exclamation. We can check that our text file is present here. So we'll check the location as it is in home directory in S3 directory. There is a test file and we'll move this file to the s3 bucket to do this we will enter the command aws s3 cp first will come the source that is s3 test1.txt and then here also we need to create a folder in here so suppose let's, let me give my name and create Okay, now we'll copy the S3 URI and paste it. Okay, so this is the command. So we are copying the test txt file from the server to the S3 bucket. And it is uploaded. Let's refresh and check. And yes, it is here. So now uh, we have uh, moved a file from the server to S3 bucket. Now let's see how we can move a file from S3 to the Linux server. For that, uh, we'll create a demo document let's see file save as next stop and we will test it we'll upload this thing into the s3 bucket it is uploaded okay as you can check that test 2 is there in s3 we will check if it is there here no only test 1 is here so now we'll move test 2 from s3 to the linux server so this is the command we will use so now for moving this file from uh, s3 to the server we require the source first so this is the source so we will copy the uri paste it in here then we will enter the path in the server that is in home directory s3 and enter and done so let's list and you can check that test 2 is also here which was in s3 bucket so now suppose if you want to automate this thing and uh, you want to run this every day every day at night uh, the files from the server should be moved to the s3 so we'll see how we can do that for that you need to come back and again we are in the root directory and here we will create one more directory which is script Okay. 
and now we'll see where the script is created yeah it is created let's go in now here you require a file which is script.sh here your script will be written so you will enter and now here the script will be there suppose the script is aws s3 move uh, copy files from s3 location to the s3 bucket so we'll uh, again go back and copy s3 uri and paste it again escape colon wq to save and we'll go up and check the command okay everything looks good so now uh, if you want to test this we will again go to s3 folder you can check that two test files are there we'll create one more test 3.txt skip colon wq which shouldn't be capital and arrow so now you can check that there are uh, three files and test is a new one and we will try to move this file from server to the bucket using the script which we just created so for that cd go to script so here is our script.sh file so for that first we need to give full permission to this uh, file for that ch mode triple seven script.sh ll now we can Okay, so now we will run this file. Let's come back one more step. Check uh, the file. So in script, we have the script.sh file. So we also require to give full permission to this one also. Script. Hello. And then. So now if we want to run it, we will do cd script. And now we can check here the file is here. To run this, we will do dot slash script and it will run automatically. And it is seeing upload field. Uh, I guess there is some problem with the command. So we will uh, vi script.sh again. Okay, so this uh, won't be there. Uh, let's clear this out. S3 and uh, one, more. Yeah. one more forward slash. That's it. So this will be the command. Escape colon wq exclamation. Okay, let's try it out again. I'm making some mistake with the path, I guess. I'll just uh, scroll up to check. Okay, so we have entered the uh, full name CP that is S3 test one dot txt. So just we are making a problem there. So we'll again go and uh, to the script and do some changes. So here. Only a star will come as in all the files from this uh, folder you will be moving to the s3 bucket we'll go out escape for and wq exclamation now it should work let's uh, check again test and star Now it should work. It's giving us error. Let's uh, fix this real quickly. It is problem with the source only. Let's check that out. What is this source? So we are in script uh, and uh, the files will be okay. Let's come back. Let's see. We created a folder S3. We'll go mm -hmm. in list. Okay, third file is there. So let's see the row. Okay. So S3 and test3.txt is the file we are trying to move. Okay. Uh, 
Then let's go to script again. Vi script.sh. Okay, now it should. Uh, it is moving now as we have mentioned the proper uh, path but uh, what if we have to move the entire folder so we, we won't be doing this so i'll check okay so i did some testing and uh, did some changes in the code i paused the video for that while so let's do it again we'll go to cd s3 and here as you can check there are four files so test four is the one which i created for testing so we'll create one more that is test phi.ext skip colon wq exclamation so as you can check now five files are there so now let's uh, go to the script and vi script.sh here we will uh, uh, cross this name so now any file which is in this particular directory that is s3 will be moved to the s3 bucket only you have to mention recursive at the end skip colon wq exclamation now let's see if it is working or not dot for slash skip dot sh yeah it is working so now you can check the fifth file is also uploaded so now this script is working completely fine so we'll create a cron tab entry for this for that we'll go to cd slash forward slash and we'll create we'll do vi forward slash etc slash cron tab so now this is the cron tab and we'll enter this thing in the script over here so now we know the script name and its location so we'll do insert and uh, comment out and here enter script for the spelling is cri script ec2 s3 and that's it now here we will enter the actual script that is first we will enter the time uh, at which it should run so first uh, suppose we want to run it at every day night so we will enter the first will be the minutes that is 30 and 23 at 11 30 night every day this should run so star 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 root and after that We'll put the location that is script and inside it we have script.sh that's it escape colon wq exclamation so now whenever you do cat the cron tab you will see that we have a script that is running every day 23 30 at 11 30 pm at night so this script will run every day at night it has the files which are in the s3 directory they will be automatically transferred to the S3 bucket. So this is how we can set up or schedule files to move to S3 bucket from EC2 to S3. And if you want to do it vice versa, you can just change the command and you have to enter the S3 URI first. And after that, the location in the EC2. So that's it for this video. Thank you.